Hey, welcome to another Hats Deck Mike Plays. And you know what? I've been playing some pretty good games lately, so I figured it's time I played a piece of crap. So today, it's all about Sonic Blast on the Sega Game Gear. Obviously, I'm playing an emulated version here, and I'll be using the Hyperkin Sega Genesis USB controller, because, you know, Sega. I like it. And yeah, this is not a good game, but I keep coming back to it for some reason, and it's what I'm doing now. I thought I'd make a good video playing something a bit out of the norm. Well, you know, not Sonic, but a bad game. And I'm going to be Sonic. Knuckles is awesome, but I'm going to stick with my main. I'll get the timer going, and here we go. Yeah, <laughs> this game is so ugly. <laughs> Ugh. I got this game, yeah, back when it's still pretty new on my Game Gear, and even as a kid I knew it wasn't good. But, yeah. Oh, I love the Game Gear. I played that thing all the time. I was one of the fortunate kids who had both a Game Boy and a Game Gear, so I have really good memories with both. But, uh, I actually like Game Gear more. I know Game Boy was more popular back then, but... Game Gear had color. That was pretty cool. Yeah. It's like normally I always say you should play a game for yourself to see like how it feels, but you could just like you could just tell by looking at it like how choppy and awkward it this is to control. <laughs> eh. Don't even bother with those loops. <laughs> Almost done with Green Hill Zone. I actually do like the music though. I think it is quite catchy. <laughs> First zone down. I think there were like five zones. This is a short game. Which, for the purpose of this episode, is a good thing. Yellow Desert. I thought it was interesting how every zone name is named after a color. Green Hill, Yellow Desert, Red Mountain. That's kind of cool. I mean, none of those zones really stand out as anything special, but... It was cool when I noticed that they did that. Yeah, fun fact, in the community of Sonic Stadium, they had a community like remix album. They actually did a remix of this song for it. It's not too great, but I like this song well enough to, you know, do something with it. Yeah, if you go find it's the Sonic Stadium Music Album 2011, so it's quite a while ago now. And I went under, under the name Mike Blast, dude, for it. Yeah, if you ever see any remixes out there by someone named Mike Blast, dude, that was my old account. I used to make not too great Sonic remixes. I had fun doing though. I just, I'm not super great music composer or anything, but. I messed around in FL Studio and I don't know, made some kind of cool sounding things, I guess. Yeah, I really like this song though. It's like, it's too bad the game associated with it sucks, but some of the music's pretty good. People probably have just never bothered with this soundtrack and I don't blame them, but... Yeah. And this part makes no sense, it's like supposed to be a maze, I think, but you just keep holding forward and then you get through it and then that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this boss was kind of cool. Eggman's all just flying on a cloud. I think it's supposed to be like Goku, like... Not Dragon Ball Goku, but like Journey to the West Goku. I could be wrong, but I think that's the reference there. Yeah, it's a different boss, to be sure. Some of the bosses I kind of like in this game. <laughs> it's like, I try and give this game credit where it's due, and I guess I still have a soft spot for it, but I, I will never call this a good game. Even though I keep coming back to it, I'm weird. I use Sonic's double jump so much in this zone just to cheese my way over those lava pits. I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> and that's the first act done. Even the loops just look so awkward when he's running through them in this game. <laughs> like, props to them, they pushed the Game Gear to its graphical limits, but uh, it does not look good in motion. <laughs> this walking animation, just all the animations, but no one really walks like that. Just, Again, they tried. They did everything they possibly could on the Game Gear, and I have to give them props for that, but... <laughs> Feel like I almost died. Oh wait, I had a ring, never mind. Felt like I almost died, but I didn't. I think I have to like let it take me all the way up. I kept getting stuck down here because I wouldn't let Yeah, I let this thing take me up far enough. Yeah, Sonic's double jump comes in handy in this level definitely. Alright, here's the boss. This one's very easy once you know the pattern. Alright, and that's three out of five of the zones down, although... This next one will probably take me a lot longer because it is one of the worst zones in all of Sonic ever. I don't think I'm exaggerating. Freaking Blue Marine Zone. I hate this zone so much. Yeah. There's like a lot of maze-like elements and I don't remember all of it, so... Is that... So here's where the playthrough is probably going to be a lot less speedy. Use these little tiny platforms here. And... Also, the developers are dicks for making those little platforms you have to jump on so tiny. Big ass bulky Sonic sprite, it's just. That's just mean. 
And here's one of those loops I get stuck in. Sonic looks especially goofy when he's trying to run in the water because it's just like, no, buddy, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, surface is right there. Come on, Sonic. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to be another embarrassing thing where I look at the camera like, what did I just do? But nope, I made it. I made it through. This is going pretty well. Oh yeah, act two, that, that's the real challenge. This is gonna suck. Yeah, I have no idea what tubes I'm supposed to go into. I'm just gonna... Do some trial and error here. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Unless I'm supposed to. Nope. Not that way. Okay, and I'm back here. I hate this level so much. Is there anything over here I'm supposed to? I'm gonna stop and get a bubble just in case because I don't know when my next chance will be. Oh wait, yeah, down here. I think I'm supposed to go the other end. Ah, of course. Yeah, you get stuck in these currents that like take you all the way back. And there's like sections that if you're not going the exact right way, you just have to start all the way over and yeah. It gets super annoying as you can imagine. Way. That's a good sign. Seeing that little checkpoint box there. It's also kind of funny how in a lot of the Game Gear games the checkpoints are inside of item boxes. It's I get it because checkpoints are usually like large sprites that the Game Gear might not be able to handle, but it's always just kind of funny. How am I? I feel like I'm supposed to go up there where that checkpoint is. Yeah, okay. This tiny little platform here, and then come up here. Yay, more maze. I don't know what those buttons do. I see them in the game and I'm sure there's some reason for them, but I don't think I ever really paid attention to what they did and ever really cared either. Okay, that just sends me back to where So do I want to go back this way? Ugh.
I want to go back there. Maybe up here. Can I get up there? Oh, I got up there, okay. Don't know if that was good or not. Ugh. This game. Oh, nope, 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 that's just back. Alright, well, here we go again. I feel like I'm probably missing something really obvious, but I don't know. Oh my god. Supposed to maybe take that bottom one. Let me have the ring back, okay. I don't think I've been here. That was probably the really obvious thing that I missed. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. And then I have to scale this thing. Stupid tubes again. Why'd I pick this game? Oh, what the no. Sonic, don't fall. I remember now. I'll probably forget next time I play this. Ugh. Game Gear does have a lot of good Sonic games, though. This is not an example, but like I love Sonic Chaos, Sonic Triple Trouble, Sonic 1, not so much Sonic 2. And the Sonic Drift games were okay. I don't think there's any point in going up there. Okay. And Tails Adventure was cool. It's like a Metroidvania Sonic game, which... For what it was, it was pretty cool. Did I already come from... Yeah, I think I already came from... Okay. Jumping momentum underwater is just so weird. And awkward to control. Oh no, 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 no.
Okay. This game sure looks giving you middle fingers. It's like, oh, you didn't get out of the way in time, and now you're in this one tube that sends you all the way back. No, 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 no. okay. Oh, oh, thank goodness. The worst level's done. This looks fast in comparison to all that underwater gameplay I was doing. <laughs> I don't even remember the boss of this zone. I don't think it was anything too terrible or anything though. Okay, yeah, the submarine. <laughs> that was weird. Sounds like it's farting. <laughs> oh my god. Get their- oh. I do remember that, you make it shoot the ground and then bubble comes up. Okay, good. Got it. Final zone. Which, I remember the final zone being pretty bad too, so we'll see how this goes. The final boss though was super easy. I just remember this zone being annoying. Yep, Silver Castle. Yeah. I think you're supposed to fill this up? Yeah. I don't remember why. I always want to make sure I have at least one ring in this zone because, yeah, they're just enemies and traps all over the place. And all these warp things and it's kind of like a maze, I guess, but... I don't know. Yeah, those spike ball things. The concept of it's cool, Sonic outrunning like this wall of spikes, but then it just like stops you and then suddenly like, jitters and Okay, cool, that's the first act. So I said you always want one ring in this zone. It's 
Arrow's pointing down, so I should go down, I think. Oh, <laughs> another spike wall, but the other end. And then, yeah, okay. Oh my. It's dumb. Get me out of here. Okay. I need a ring. Okay, I got a ring. Where's the spike walk? Okay. This. Uh, and then it stops, and then it goes again. Okay. And there's a spike wall. Okay. This end now. I'm starting to remember all the zones tricks. Okay, fill that thing up for reasons, and then... Another spike wall, because why not? Oh no, I, okay, I got a ring. Go down here. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, cool. Act two cleared. remember much about this act. I just remember once I got to the boss, it was pretty easy. Here we go. Okay, okay. That's right, I just moved this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbass, he hurts himself. Now we have to move this time. He just keeps doing it. Hurting yourself. It's like, is he even looking at what he's doing? <laughs> Eggman. Never change. under a half hour for that whole game. So that was Sonic Blast, a not very good game for the Sega Game Gear. And then the Death Egg crashes again. Uh, yeah, I guess the Death Egg was back, I didn't even know that. <laughs>
I don't think this game has much of a story, and if it does, I'm not really sure what it is beyond just Eggman's back again, save the world, and Knuckles is here now. And, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> so, yeah. It's not a fun game. I wouldn't recommend you guys play it. I, I played through the whole game to show you guys all that you don't need to bother, but... I have all these memories with it, so I guess I have a soft spot for it. I think everyone has, like, some of those games from their childhood that they know aren't good, but they have soft spots for it, and Sonic Blast for me is one of those. Also, Sewer Shark on the Sega CD. It's not considered a good game by most people, but I, I love it. It's the first game I ever saw with FMV, so I was blown away. It's like, whoa, movies and a video game? Holy sh- Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> next time I don't know if I'm going to switch back to a good game, do another crappy game, do something different. I don't know. If you have any thoughts or ideas, I'm, I always take feedback and listen to you guys' ideas, so leave a comment if you have any ideas in mind, something you'd like to see me do. But yeah, for now, that's my playthrough of Sonic Blast. Thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. And I always pre appreciate you guys' support. It means a lot to me. Have a hat stack and good day.